Well, I'm excited. I mean, you know, it's not often that anybody in this league starts off 2-0. and I don't think we've been 2-0 and at NC State since, I think, 2014. And so it was a hard-fought game, as I knew coming in. You know, when you give Boston, Boston College uh, a lot of credit, they may be the only team um, on our schedule that has not played a mid-major team. You know, the lowest team that they played is Rhode Island, who's picked at the top of the A-10. And when I look at their games, all of their games have been pretty much the same, except that they didn't play well against Syracuse. When you look at the Villanova game, when you look at the Minnesota game, I knew coming in that those guards were very talented. They could make shots. You know, throughout the game, it was a bunch of highs and lows. You know, we got the big lead. Didn't play well in the second half coming out of the um, out of halftime. Uh, we eventually lost the lead by one, but found a way to win. And I told these guys, if you're going to win a championship, and I've been a part of a lot of them, you're going to have to win every type of game. You're going to have to win the game when you're up 20. Got to win the game that uh, maybe a buzzer beater. Uh, you're going to have to win the game when the league goes back and forth. So proud of my guys. Uh, you know, we're going to take tomorrow off. We don't play again till Tuesday. Uh, I've got to get some guys back in shape. Uh, still don't have Cam Hayes playing at the level he was before he had to miss games. Um, Manny Bates, um, we're going to get an MRI on his knee. Uh, it was more a coach's decision not to play him because I wanted to make sure that he was going to, going to be okay. I'm not overly concerned right now, but I will not know until I get a result on it. Um, he got banged up a little bit. I thought DJ Funderburg coming back was tremendous, as best as I've seen him play in a long time. Uh, I thought Jericho Helens bounced back and played a, a great game. And then I thought Shaquille Moore and also uh, Darion Sebron was really good, you know, coming into the game and giving us a lift. So questions. We'll go ahead and start with Daniel. Hey coach, congrats on the win. Um, DJ obviously scored 21 to nine his first game back in nearly a month. Uh, how much time did it really take for him in practice to kind of uh, shake off the rust from not playing? Daniel, he had, and I told him after uh, the game, he had two outstanding practices. And DJ is a much better player when he plays inside out. You know, I, I gave him a uh, one of those Kevin Keats stares when he took that three in the corner. Uh, not that I, I don't give those guys the freedom to take shots, but I thought we could have got a better shot. But I thought he was tremendous. Um, it's taking him a little bit of time. You know, he, he's, he's been out a little longer than everybody else. But I will say he worked himself to get back in shape to be able to have this type of game. And we needed him. We needed him with Manny out. You know, give Jericho Hellams credit. He played some four, four, I mean, five fours and small ball. But I thought DJ was tremendous tonight. Courtney, you stuck? Yeah, sorry, I was stuck. Jonas, go ahead. I got you, Courtney. I got you. <laughs> Teamwork. Jonas, what kind of mask is that you're wearing? Let me see. It's Elizabeth City State University. I'm repping my school. so I respect that. I appreciate that. It just, um, it, that blue kind of threw me off a little bit. No, just be, be clear. I get a little closer right like this so you can see it. I like it, man. Uh, um, I forgot my question now. Oh, no, um, yes. About Elizabeth City State, too, um, we were going to play them in an the exhibition. I know. I heard. And, and unfortunately, we didn't because obviously I know, you know, it's a really good school and I know they're struggling for money. So we were going to play them to try to help if we could. So I'm sorry that didn't happen. You had to say it like that, Coach. We're struggling for money, even though it's no, true. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Anyone say this, not just Elizabeth City, every small school is. Yeah. You know, so I won't make, let's make, I don't want that anybody to say I'm tacking those guys up in every small school. Hell, we are too. <laughs> we don't have to play like that. Um, uh, what was my question for real? Oh, oh uh, DJ. I, I knew DJ. you were going to ask a question I didn't like, so I, just, I jumped out in front of it. That's all. No, earlier DJ said the team is uh, right where we need to be, 2 and 0, you know, heading to 2021. What does that mean? You guys are right where you need to be. And do you agree with that assessment from DJ? Yeah, Jonas, you should have asked him that. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, I, he's excited. You know, I, I've talked about a lot of times those kids will repeat what the coach said, and I don't know that I said we're right where we needed to be, but I like where we are. Put it that way. 
Uh, you know, we couldn't we couldn't have a better record in the ACC. I should say it that way. And I'm excited that we are two and zero. All right, uh, James. Yeah, coach. Congrats on the win. Um, exactly. Austin College shot the ball really well tonight for them uh, from three point line. But down the stretch, your, your guys were able to get some stops in that last minute. And, and Jericho mentioned just the grit that he plays with. Do you feel like you've got multiple guys that bring that type of grit? from a game to game basis? Well, I've I got multiple guys that can take over a responsibility on the team when they need to, whether it's a defense assignment, whether it's an offense assignment. And I didn't think Devin particularly had a great game. And so most of th this was a game where I thought our front court was really good. Uh, and I was happy for Jericho, man. He played so hard against Carolina. And a lot of times kids don't realize how hard they play or how well they play because a lot of times they don't get a write-up because they didn't play well offensively. It was good for him to see, see him play good defensively, but get rewarded because he scored the basketball. Appreciate it. All right, Brett. What can you say about Shaquille Moore coming up big with that, that, that jumper in the lane that put you ahead? And I know you were really high on his defense coming into the season. Did you see this offense coming from him? He's worked hard. Our staff has worked extremely hard. Um, I, I think I told you guys, uh, it's, it's really hard for us right now to get, you know, guys who are McDonald's All-Americans. So we have to take guys that people kind of overlook, but they're NC State guys. Um, they're tough. They punch the clock. Um, they're hard workers. And he's put a lot of work into becoming a better offensive player. And he was great. You know, I, I don't know what other freshmen would, you know, step up and take that shot with all of those upperclassmen on the floor. And he stepped up and made a really huge shot for us. And, and obviously, uh, just like any freshman, we got the steal and we kicked it to him. I wanted him to kick it to uh, DJ, but hell, he's a freshman, so he don't know anybody. He went in there and actually, I don't know if he got it blocked, but the basket went in. So, you know, give him credit for putting extra work in. And I asked Cole this, and I was kind of wondering about your perspective. How much, if any, does the success of the football team, the women's team, how much does that kind of you guys feed off of each other? And, you know, is there any kind of like juice that you guys get from their success? I think it's the excitement of our whole athletic department. You know, um, these folks, these, these kids are tight. Um, they, they talk to each other. They root for each other. Um, you know, unfortunately, they're usually in class together, but they're not. And so we're, as the basketball team, man, I'm excited for every program that we have on our, on our campus because the more successful each of our athletic programs is, the more successful we are as a school. And I think our kids feel the same way. They feel the same way about other programs. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Thank you. All right, Andrew. Andrew. Kevin, looking at a guy like Jericho Hellams, the way he defended Garrison Brooks last week, and then the how he was a big source of offense for you guys tonight, how important is it to have a guy like him who can do multiple different things like that that you're asking of him? You know, it's important. You know, he's a, he's a kid that everybody's going to tell you he's not quick enough, doesn't jump high enough. But if you watch him and what he brings, the value that he brings to this team, is so much because he's tough. You know, he can switch one through four. You know, he's gonna play against bigger guys this year. You know, we've got three veteran interior guys uh, and I consider him one of them, you know, with Manny Bates, DJ and Jericho. And we're obviously, as we try to develop EB Dewana and uh, Jalen Gibson, he's gonna have to play a lot of minutes for us. And a lot of times he's gonna be the smaller guy in the fight but I always go with him because he, he's going to always win the fight. All right. Thanks coach. I think that's all we've got tonight. Guys. Thank, listen, everyone, everyone. Uh, we're excited in NC state that we're two and zero. Uh, but, but I will tell you guys, man, please, please be safe going into new year's. I want to wish everybody a happy new year. Uh, man, we're going to, we're going to defeat this thing. I don't know when it's going to be, but I think, you know, everybody's got to do their part. I'm going to certainly do my part uh, just as I did with Christmas. I'm going to 
spend time with my um, my family, have me some Welch's grape. I'm not suggesting all you guys have to have Welch's grape, uh, but please, really, 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 please, man, I want you to be safe. I worry about you guys all the time. I know you may not think so, uh, and I pray I pray for you because I want to make sure that everybody is um, safe and healthy. And um, if there's anything I can do for you guys or you got a um, any relative or friend that's going through COVID or struggling, if I can get on the phone with them and it helps put a smile on their face, if it means something, I don't know if it will, please let me know. Thank you.